around the 1960s, um, a lot of what was around Kenny Hill was just mainly individual houses, bungalows basically. Kenny Hills um, used to be a rubber estate, uh, it used to be known as the Batu uh, estate on the fringe of KL City. And it was in the 1930s that uh, the architect A.O. Coltman, who was a sole proprietor at Booty and Edwards at that time, um, and he and a really good friend, uh, a Danish engineer by the name of Steen Sehested. So the two of them would often go off and walk, and they would come across this estate, this Batu estate. And as they walk along this area, they realised that it's a really, really nice place to turn into a uh, you know, residential area. The Crescent, or the Stories as we know today, is the only um, higher rise, so to speak, you know, in comparison to bungalows. Uh, well, low rise apartment that was found in the area. The Crescent was developed as a mixed development. It was built, completed in maybe about 1961 or 1962. There are five blocks here, uh, four of which are solely residential units. Um, and the, the middle block had retail units at the bottom, had shops allocated. Interestingly, the design for the Crescent, um, in our office we actually attribute it to an architect called Sito Kok Yin. Um, why I say interesting was because he actually designed it when he was during a holiday from his university. Dato King Tun Lu was of course the partner in charge who was overseeing this project. Um, so of course he was the one who approved the design and I'm sure he had a hand in it. After that, Sito went back to Melbourne to continue his studies, to finish his degree. Um, and it was during this time that uh, Dato King Tun continued to oversee the project and probably with a team of people um, who worked with him saw the project to completion and finished it. It still looks very much the same today as, uh, as, as it was before. Um, of course, I mean, there were some years where it started to look a bit uh, dilapidated, uh, unfortunately. But it's really nice to see coming here today, to see what's been done to rejuvenate this place. The original structure, even the railing detailing and the Puts, the overall look of the place still looks the same and it actually evokes this memory of what the 1960s might have been like you know the singing 60s and it only brings about the you know to the imagination of what kind of people actually lived here and what they did and you can only imagine the kind of parties that were probably happening in the units um, but you know it also shows that good architecture is about good space planning um, and I feel that this building has been designed in such a way that it still stand, stands the test of time. Uh, that even today, fresh coat of paint looks perfectly fine.